sudden change in the presidential race. According to our brand new CNN ORC poll, a majority of the nation's voters now say they want to reelect President Obama. Take a look at this. The president has 52 percent. He's seven points ahead of Mitt Romney, who's at 45 percent. Just a month ago, the president in our poll was ahead 49 to 46 percent. Significantly, the president now, according to our latest poll, is above 50 percent. Our polls also show what voters think uh, of Mitt Romney's potential vice presidential picks. Let's bring in our national political correspondent, Jim Acosta. He's taking a closer look at all of these numbers, right. uh, at least on the surface, should bring a smile to the Obama campaign. And perhaps a warning to Mitt Romney and his campaign to go big in the vice presidential search, Wolf, with Mitt Romney heading out on what's becoming a potential rollout for his running mate. The results from our CNN ORC poll on the Veep stakes are even more fascinating. The two men who seem to be the safe bets in Washington are not the top choices in their own party. With perhaps just days to go before Mitt Romney makes his vice presidential pick, the conventional wisdom in Washington has narrowed it down to the two P's, Tim Pawlenty and Rob Portman. It's an honor to be considered. It's an, uh, it certainly would be uh, an honor for anybody to be considered. But Widely considered the safest choices of the bunch, the two P's are saying all the right things. I'm in the Senate. I just got elected two years ago. Uh, I think that's where I'm going to end up staying. But as a new CNN ORC poll finds, Republicans want a flashier pick, like the GOP's rising star Marco Rubio, the bombastic Chris Christie, or conservative heartthrob Paul Ryan, all at the head of the pack. Why? Likeability. And in the end, nobody votes for vice president. Among all Americans, the New Jersey governor has the highest favorability numbers of the seven men in the poll, followed closely by the Florida senator. Name recognition is also a factor. The public still doesn't know much about Pawlenty, and even less about Portman. Governor Mitt Romney! It could be a warning sign for Romney, who's about to embark on a bus tour that, as campaign has hinted, could be a running mate debut. The unofficial GOP nominee could use some pizzazz, with our poll finding him seven points behind Obama. What's more, the president's favorability numbers are holding steady, and better than Romney's numbers. President Obama used his health care plan to declare war on religion. Romney is trying to change that with a new ad, accusing the president of waging war on churches and faith-based groups by requiring religious employers to cover contraception under the health care law. The Obama campaign notes those rules have since been relaxed. But according to our new poll, the vast majority of Americans want Romney to release more of his tax returns. And on the driving force of Romney's campaign, the economy, slightly more Americans believe things will get better under the president. As Christie put it earlier this week, it's the candidate at the top of the ticket that matters. I mean, you really think that people in the United States said, yeah, I'm not sure about this Obama guy, but boy, I love Biden. I'm, I'm voting for him for that reason. And, you know, people don't do that. They just don't do it. Our new poll also finds that despite a close race, two-thirds of Americans believe the president will win re-election. And as for all of those nasty ads in recent days, the poll is split over whether the candidates have been attacking each other unfairly. And, and Wolf, just getting back to that uh, factor of unknowability, if that's a word I could use, about Rob Portman and uh, Tim Pawlenty, very interesting in these poll numbers, 72 percent in the poll said they were unsure about Rob Portman. 58% about Tim Pawlenty. There's a lot of people out there who just don't know who either of these guys uh, really is, and, and they might be on that, uh, on that running mate you know, slot. I, on that specific issue, uh, who the vice presidential running mate should be, there's only one person, maybe two. Uh, that would be Mitt Romney and Ann Romney who will make that final decision. Uh, and he has to really feel comfortable with his running mate, uh, because if he's elected president, that person is going to be vice president. They're going to be working very, very closely. So while the American public might not know a lot about Rob Portman, for example, the senator from Ohio, I think he knows a lot about him, and he spent a, a lot of quality time with him as well. And everything about the Romney campaign and everything about Mitt Romney is data-driven and risk-averse. They try to avoid risk at all costs. That's why everybody keeps going back to Rob Portman and Tim Pawlenty. They don't want to have another Sarah Palin situation. But our polling finds that if they want to spice things up out there, there are certainly other picks out there that the party, their own party, would like to see on that ticket. Now, originally, there was a push to get this announcement before the start of this bus tour, but uh, that could be delayed, right? 
Well, we were thinking that it could it could happen any time during this bus tour. It doesn't make much sense to do it while the Olympics are going on because the Olympics are taking up so much of the public's attention right now. That's why folks are focusing on the last two legs of this bus tour, Florida and Ohio, on Monday and Tuesday, going through Marco Rubio's territory, then Rob Portman's territory. But, Wolf, as you know, anything can happen after that. There's still plenty of time between the end of that bus tour and the convention. We'll see. Uh, we'll see what happens. We'll uh, see. Good work. Thanks very much, Jim McC